was like a mouldy old compost heap. I was a pile of rotten turnips. Oh, she was a gummage. I might have guessed. Hello, Aunt Sally. Here, look what I bought you. There's some pretty plants for you to put in your garden. I've got all sorts. I've got big ones with little flowers and little ones with big ones. And where might I ask, did you get them? Uh, from the Native Garden Centre. The Native Garden Centre? Yeah. You got them from the Native Garden Centre? Get them out of my sight, horrible beastly plants. Get rid of them. Why, what's wrong with them? What is wrong with them? I don't want any nasty nettles who need the native weeds in my garden. What do you think I am, a common colonial? But, Aunt Sally, them's the prettiest plants I could lay me hands on. Listen to me, you dunghead. My garden happens to be a British garden with British plants. I'm not about to contaminate it with nasty colonist weeds. Get them off my land this instant! Yes, Aunt Sally. Anything you say, Aunt Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Sally? Yes, Wazel? Are you certain that's the proper way to plant them plants, eh? Of course, why? Only I was thinking that the ones you stuck in upside down is for planting the right side up. How do you know about horticulture? You've never had a garden of your own. Well, I may not have had a garden of my own, Aunt Sally, but many is the time I've stood watch over cabbages and parsnips and sausages and that, and watched them grow like they was me own. And one thing I know is, as sure as my name's was a ledger of gummy. The next you stick them wiggly bits in the ground, they'll fall over, same as what them's doing. You stupid scarecrow, they ain't falling over, they's quilting. Now hurry up and fetch me some plant accelerant. Plant accelerant? What's that, Aunt Sally? Oh, you Plant accelerant is what you put on gardens to make them grow proper. Hey, you mean fertilizer? Don't you use that common word term in my presence. The word is plant accelerant, and I want some now. Yeah, well, I haven't got any. Well, go to the shop and get some. Yeah, Aunt Sally, if I was to get you some of this here fertilizer, this here plant accelerant, this stuff, what you put on the plants is to make them grow. If I was to get you some of that stuff, could I have a dig in your garden? Certainly not. What about the water with your water in, Kai? Out of the question. In that case, I ain't going. Not going? No. Not going, Wurzel Gummidge. Unless... Yes? Unless you was to give old Wurzel a bit of a mushy. Right here. Give you a mushy? You must be off your chump. I'd rather kiss hippopotamuses. What's an hippopotamus? A great, ugly, dirty animal which is only half as ugly as what you is. Well, if that's what you really think, I may as well go back to my barn right now and have a sulk for a day or two. Wes, hmm? if you was to fetch me the plant accelerant like what I asked, I might think about the request you made of me. You really mean it, Aunt Sally? You really mean it? Did you get off worse, though? I'm pretty kissy kissy. I said I'd think about it. Well, don't hang around like a bad smell. Get going. How's going, Aunt Sally? How's going? And I'll be back quicker than the possum can shake his tail. With enough fertiliser for you to take a bath in. Here, who are you? by spying on a lady the privacy of a sun terrace. Madam, I wasn't spying. I was merely taking an interest. May I compliment you on your plastic daffodils? Très original. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't realize you was British from the old country, of course. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Share in your car. At your service. <laughs> I've come to New Zealand to direct the Provincial Touring Ballet Company. Ballet? You're an enthusiast? I thought so. I can always spot a lover of dance. Oh, it's in the blood. I can't hear a tune without leaping to my feet and doing a twizzle round the floor. How delightful. You've no idea what a pleasure it is to meet someone who's enthusiastic about the arts. It's been very trying for me, stuck out here in this cultural backwater. I know what you mean. I mean, the colonials have got no refinement. As I was saying only the other day to His Highness Prince Charles, when he was here on his holiday, I said, I can't wait to get back to hobnobbing society back home. My dear lady, if you're hungry for culture and you've got the time, why don't you pop along to the town hall and watch our preview this afternoon? 
There'll be one or two reporters there, and I understand the uh, mayor and one or two councillors will be attending. The mayor? Oh, well, that's quite different. Of course, I can't be absolutely certain until I consult my social calendar, but I'll try and squeeze you in. Splendid! <laughs> See you there. Yes! <laughs> In a minute. Excuse me, would you mind getting off the stage? The rehearsal is about to begin. I beg your pardon. Well, look, lady, you're in the road. Now, kindly move along. Uh, I don't know if you know who thinks you is, but I happen to be a Excuse friend me. Oh, of the director. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right, madam. Now, we don't want any trouble. Do Take we? your I, paws off me. I will not be manhandled. You are just ill bred. All oh. right, everybody, from the top of that, too, please. Trees, trees, sir, in that state. God, this whole tour has been a farce from beginning to end. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I know it's very short notice, but I've had many years training in the ballet. Arabesque, Piranhas, Jetties. I know them all. I don't need to advertise my talents, but if it's a dancer you need, look no further. But are you familiar with Uberda Selby's interpretation of the Brides of Windsor? Intimately. I know them backwards. Really? Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> well, let's not waste any more time. Come backstage and we'll find you something to wear. Jerry down, Jerry down, Jerry down, this. You can do what you like to old Wurzel, only don't snivel. As soon as you start snivelling, I want to snivel myself. My pretty, pretty, pretty body flew off my head. Oh, don't worry about that, Aunt Sally. Old Wurzel will get it back for you. Quick as nine. Hey, yeah. Don't worry. I'll have it. Hey, hey, pop that back on your bonds. Thank you. Aunt Sally. 
Oh, Wurzel's in a bit of trouble here. Oh, how unfortunate! You're stuck on the barbed wire. I suppose you'd like an ant. Yes, please, Aunt Sally, if it's all the same to you. Well, I'm very sorry, Wurzel, but I can't offer an ant. But I can offer you something else. Well, what's that? A pot! Ah! That's me humiliating you in front of all those posh people at the valley! Oh! And that for ruining my beautiful dress! Ah, what's that one for? That's for being the horrible, smelly scarecrow that you is that nobody wants and everybody hates. Who's only fit for the compost? Well, I can't stand around here all day. I've got things to do. Aunt Sally, you can't leave me here hanging on this wall like a dead mole on a busy street. I love you. And it ain't dignified to love someone hanging upside down and arsey-darsey. <laughs> I'm telling!